Now I'll show you the second section in Chang Kyu. Okay, into our position. So we ended up here from the first section. We'll slowly start here again. So the left hand will open up as a Tan So. And we're going to do a regular Tan So coming out. But when it's about halfway out, we're going to pivot to the left. And we're going to be facing directly this way. And our feet will be 45 degrees this way. And our arm will be in a single line south. So if it's from the side, it's going to look like this. This will be about a sternum level. This hand should be relaxed, but not a fist. Just relax like this. From here, we're going to do our first kick, which is going to be a flick kick, like this. So you'll be lifting with your knee up first. And once your knee is up, we're going to flick out your foot. You can use your toe or you can use your heel. But in this case, I like using the toe for our groin attack. So we're going to lift up our knee, then flick it out. And then when it comes back, we're going to use the momentum of the foot to drop down and do our bounce out with out. Alright, so one more time. We're here, coming out, tan out, halfway. We're going to pivot and also turn the hand and do line out. Now we're fishing this way. From here, we're going to do a flick kick. So we're going to lift our knee. So all your weight is on the back. Make sure you have good balance. Now the rest of the foot and the bottom calf area will be relaxed at this point. We can do a thick kick. So just extend out and just relax back. So once again, from here, open tan cell to the left. When it's halfway, turn and pivot. This flips over. Now from that side, angle is gonna look like this. Bring up your knee, do a flick kick. And when you're stepping down, use that momentum. So when you're stepping down, use that momentum and use that to get into the Bong Sao Wu Sao. So Bong Sao Wu Sao is like this, I showed you that there's a 135 degree angle here, 135 degree angle here, and this is on the center on the line. From here, we're just going to drop our elbows and flip our hands upwards. So just drop your elbows and just relax. Then we're going to take a step and then do another Bong Sao Wu Sao. So, just showing you the feet. So we're just going to go this way, up, flick kick, down. Now when you're, when you're stepping down, make sure, you're sure that your foot is now still on a 45 degree angle. So you're kicking straight in this angle, but once you step down, your feet should be back on a 45 degree angle. So not on a straight angle like this, but on a 45 degree angle this way. Right, so once again, we're going to go this way, up, flick, kick, then one, two, three. So notice that I'm stepping and shuffle. Step, shuffle. Step, shuffle. So you combine it quickly together. One, step, shuffle, step, shuffle. So that's the, that's the movement. Now you combine the the hand movements, we're going to go one, the kick, use the momentum, step shuffle, drop your hands, I mean drop your elbows and have your hands uh, in a double tan so. And then we're going to do it again, step shuffle, when you step shuffle, this turns back into a wu so, this is a bang so. Drop your hands, and third time, step shuffle. Now in this position, instead of dropping our hands down again, we're going to go and go into this position. Now what some people like to do, in some forms, is we, they do an uppercut. So there's a scooping action, like that, up to the chin. This hand will always fold back to your chest like this. So one, one option is to do an uppercut. Another option is to go directly straight to this position. So what I like to do is something in between. As long as you get the rotation and the dropping of the elbow. Dropping the elbow this way. That's where you get the power from the dropping of the elbow. So either if you do a scooping uppercut, the key is to, from here, drop the elbow. Drop the elbow, uppercut, or drop the elbow straight. Either one's fine. Okay, so drop the elbow straight. So from here, we're going to do 
In this position, I'm going to pivot this foot back into the center stance. Now I'm facing this way and do a fox out this way. Once you've done that, we're going to do a thumbs up. So from here, just directly back into this position. So remember, this is similar as the tan cell position. The only difference is now our, our hand is facing like this instead of like that. We're facing this way. The pressure should be on the bottom part of your edge of your hand and of your forearm. From here, we're going to place our left hand on our elbow and do a tooth cell like we did before. Tooth cell, this will be a chop to the neck, tan cell, yun cell, and cell pin. Now we're going to repeat what we did uh, on the right side. So right hand will start as a tan cell. When it's halfway out, we're going to pivot to the right. And now this is a lan cell. The hand is open and uh, our feet are turning 45 degrees this way and my body is facing 90 degrees this way. This is either sternum level and this is pulled back to your chest. Lift up our knee, flick kick, use the momentum to get into this position. Tans out with Drop the elbows, relax your hands to another one. Drop third one and now I'm back in the middle. And then here we turn, rotate, drop the elbow, go into our straight punch. Or like I mentioned, you can use this as an uppercut. So either you do an uppercut or you do straight in that position. But just remember that the key is to drop the elbow to push forward your power. I'm still on my back leg at this point. Now I'm going to do the fox out. So all you need to do is just pivot this right foot. Okay, so just pivot this right foot, fox out to the left. Do the tam sao, tu sao, tan sao, yun sao, and back. So that's the second section in tam kip.